like my frustration with nigerians is they're not straightforward and this is really holding back my project like i really want to move forward but now i can't really move at the pace that i would like good morning youtube fam welcome back once again to my youtube videos um it's blessing here of trendy b fashionista so it's about 4 44 a.m here in sydney and i'm here in my studio in eastern creek you'll be wondering why i'm here so early so as you know if you've been watching my videos i run my business and basically i'm an entrepreneur so i run all aspect of business by myself so sometimes it requires me to work very long hours and i i i i, I might start very very early like today i started about 3 a.m and um and i might knock off about 10 p.m so sometimes i work very long hours sometimes i can work up to 20 hours and these are um, the sacrifices you make to build your business a lot of people don't really understand that when you run your business you actually put in more hours and that's just the reality <laughs> if you want your business to move forward so yeah so i'm here very early and i'm working on as usual on the orders that needs to be picked up today i wanted to talk about our topic <laughs> Um, concerning the issue that I'm presently dealing with and it's about something that has to do with my farmland in Nigeria and it's kind of frustrating because I've been dealing with this for like for some months now um, it's the issue of getting an access road from the main road to my land so I have 10, 10 plots of land and I I didn't know that the, the way like the lands are structured in the east is not really mapped out by the government such that the roads are, are, are marked and in such a way that there are um, parts of the land that is designated for pathways and routes and um, link ways to the main road so I found myself in a bit of a dilemma where I didn't have any access road like a, a main access road that is wide enough to fit like maybe a big truck from the main road to my land there's only a footpath and there's a lot of work that is about to commence on the land but there's no way to have like a, a big vehicle coming to the land. So that's the dilemma that I'm, I'm, I'm in. And I've been trying to like resolve these things for some months. And it's really uh, kind of like getting frustrating because, you know, I expect things to, you know, when you ask people what is expected and they tell you, and then you do those things that is expected you expect they play their own part but things doesn't always work like that in nigeria which is quite sad and um initially i said okay now we have this problem so what is the way out how can it be resolved i said oh um the person that i'm consulting with he said is it's, it's a very common problem especially if the the land is not has not been designated by the government I bought the land from families, um, yeah, like in Lagos you call them Omonile. Omonile means the original owners of the land. So I bought direct from the families, like maybe like inheritance land, such that um, where I bought the land from, it's in between several other family lands. And they have not like designated any footpaths to access those lands. And now the problem is the shortest route to get to the main road is going to cut across several family land. So to get that access route from the main road to my land, I'm going to have to go through a few 
different family lands and i'm like wow like how i i i discuss with a person that is giving me this information and i say how wide is this access route going to be he says okay it's 15 feet wide and about 30 feet in length and i said okay fine that is not such a big piece of land because i know how much a plot of land is there a plot of land is about five hundred thousand naira so if i need to get about 15 feet wide and 30 feet in length it should be less than um if i have to do the maths it's not up to half a plot of land and if a full plot of land is valued at 500,000 half plot of land is 250,000 quarter plot of land about 125,000 it should even be less than that because that is not even up to quarter a plot of land and the issue is the person has been going back and forth with me come back with this information say oh it's five families involved okay so like these five families involved don't they think they're gonna benefit from this like they also don't have an access route from the main road so what i'm actually asking for is gonna benefit all the other landowners like it is something that should you know be discussed and you know you should volunteer to donate this piece and if i'm gonna build that access point that is my own donation to build it and your own part of the donation should just you know give up like a little piece of land for the project but then the person i'm consulting with is saying these people want payment so now the question is how many families are involved and they're telling me five families today the next day they tell me it's two families like my frustration with nigerians is they're not straightforward and this is really holding back my project like i really want to move forward but now i can't really move at the pace that i would like to because they've been giving me all kind of information every day and different information like i feel like it's just all about extortion like people are not honest you know um i i was having a conversation with the person i was consulting with I said since this is gonna benefit all these people why are they wanting me to pay them all off and they're gonna end up benefiting using that um, access route to also access the land I said if I have to make this payment give them a payout when I build this road it would belong to me and I can do with it what I please for all I care I could actually put a gate at the front at the beginning of the entrance and at the end of the entrance and no one can access it without my permission i might actually put someone like a tax man to take some money for each person that uses that road because you know if you choose to play that way i too can play the game i'm a businesswoman as well i've been in business for so long and i understand how these things work I don't mind if you're trying to charge me for it but if you charge me for it and i own the piece of land and i i'll get it back i'll get all the money back from you i'll essentially i become the government of the land yeah per passage you pay one thousand naira. well and then the person was like ha 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 blessing you want to be like the tinubu of uh of lagos in anambra state yes yes look let's call a spade a spade like you people you think you're smart yeah then let's let's all keep being smart and then when you decide to be reasonable then let all let's all be reasonable together you know the right thing to actually do is not to make too much fuss about this just actually sit down and say okay like really what this guy is saying makes a lot of sense we're all gonna benefit from this access road so let's just donate like a piece and then she can develop it and it's gonna benefit every other person that owns land in that area finito finish end of story you move on with your life i move on with my life but then they're making it really difficult for me and i've come to a decision that okay yeah let me see what the charge you're asking for and i'm very very fully aware that I, I I I know the value of the land there and you're not gonna extort me even if I have the money I would not pay more than I'm supposed to pay so I'm very on the alert 
and I'm not gonna be one of those person that would just be used yeah so I'm willing to make the payment the reasonable payment that is not gonna be an extortion meaning you're not gonna charge me more than what the value of what I'm getting is and hopefully you know it will be as straightforward as they say it would be because I don't really know why people are not very straightforward in Nigeria and um, I'm just tired of this whole thing I've been going back and forth for the past months because you know I need to move on to the next stage in my farmland and I've not really been able to do much just because of this issue and um, I, I've just had enough and I, I really hope you know it can be resolved once and for all like at this stage now where I'm at I just want them to you know be very honest with me I'm ready to make the payment but you need to be really honest with me that okay these are the number of families that this access road is gonna cut across the land and this is the reasonable amount they're asking you to pay for it and I can make this payment and this whole thing can be sorted once and for all that's just what I want and um I don't know if any of you have had any experience like this or have something to share with me that could help my situation please um, you can drop a comment or I don't know I just hope to get past this so I can be able to move on with my project and I'm still excited to share what all this journey is gonna be about I mean like the next step which is um, I'm not gonna share it I'll share it in the next video but yeah thank you all for sitting down and listening to my little chit chat which is what I've been doing since I started this video because I have not really started the farming proper because this is more like a prepping because once I get into the farm it would be boom 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 <laughs> action 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 less talking more action for now as more talking less action mm, there's time for everything so this is the season of talking and very soon we're gonna get into the season of working so I hope you enjoy this season as it comes and goes thank you so much for sticking around to watch my video and thank you to all my new subscribers I appreciate you all very much I hope you can keep watching and liking and commenting and subscribing and I'll see you in my next video bye for now